the EC here. Hi guys and gals. Well, I hope you're well. It is Sunday in the afternoon and uh, yeah, <laughs> we had a little bit of rain, but it's kind of stopped. It's rather warm now, actually. It's like 13 degrees Celsius. It's the warmest it's been all week. But as you can see, and don't compare with North America, but as you can see, our, our trees uh, have lost uh, pretty much their leaves. It's always later here. Uh, some trees, I mean, it's only like when it freezes that they finally do lose their, their leaves. The walnut tree is the one over there. And we had really high winds, uh, uh, like, I don't know. Uh, I can't remember what speed they were anymore, but anyway, the velocity was enough that, I mean, a lot of the leaves just came off, actually. Anyway, that's not so important, but uh, yeah, we're just walking around a little bit. Uh, and I thought I'd come out and say hello. So let me see, over here, Mrs. DC has a an old school uh, rain measuring cylinder. So I don't know how long that it's been there, but it's full, you know, it's full. So that was being, it was being quite a bit of rain in the last few days. Uh, yeah, oh, we had friends over, I think I mentioned that in the last vlog, uh, and I have some friends, I had some friends over from my former workplace and we made a raclette, oh, it was really good, but I, at the end of the, at the end of the evening, we got out some whiskey, and I had a, probably a dram, or two, too many. Oh my goodness, you know, uh, too much too much whiskey makes you, well, at least it made me uh, sleep, and the next day I really wasn't top. Let's just put it that way, I really wasn't top. But uh, this way, uh, some people were just crossing over there in the street, and they, they saw, well, actually a whole bunch of people, and they're just seeing me vlogging, and they're all looking at me. Well, they've passed now. They were all looking at me like, uh, what is he doing? I guess, you know, because I got the camera, oh, no, sorry, the phone on a, on a handheld tripod so that I could walk around easier. Oh, yeah, so anyway, like I was just saying, Saturday was rather rough. <laughs> oh, well, there's a few things that I've learned. One is I'm not younger anymore. I'm not that young anymore. I've got to be careful. Mrs. DC tells me not to get so excited in the moment. Uh, that's one thing. And the other thing is that never let somebody else pour your, pour your glass. Do it yourself. You're more in control that way. Uh, uh, the bottles were closer to a friend's and he was, uh, I told him, I said, well, you just like, be the barman, which was a mistake, because <laughs> he was a very generous barman, I guess. Anyway, yeah. So I, uh, having said that, though, we they left around midnight, and we had a a really really nice nice time. We hadn't seen each other for a year. There, there was a bit of gossip, but you know what was fun? There wasn't. Yeah, of course, we talked about our old workplace and how things are going on, and like I say, a bit of the gossip. But mostly, it was just a bunch of friends getting together and having a good time. So we were out on the on the deck here, and I'll just point it in between. You can see over there. That's kind of like a a table with a heating element on the top. So we had beers out here, and we were I don't know after everybody had eaten and we taking a pause we were drinking beer so you can see we had beer we had wine and we had whiskey yeah no wonder the next day i was feeling it but anyway we we got by the under that that heater so we're the five of us and mrs dc at that time was staying in she was watching 
television or so on. But uh, and we just chatted. Like I say, it was really fun. And everybody said we're going to do it again because we realized, you know, it's a good group. We were like the five and just chatted. And we would not seen each other for about a year. And it was fun. I mean, uh, every now and then you kind of need a, an outing like that, I guess. And Well, it was here. But for them, it was an outing. And I think the other thing is that, you know, like I've been retired for over a year now. And... <clears throat> Well, you know, there's that kind of that crowd that was missing, you know, just the, there's a kind of a banter when it's like the, the people were talking a little bit about work, a little bit about social stuff. Uh, one or two were talking about their social life or their love life or lack of love life. And uh, I don't know, there's just kind of that little banter that was missing and it was fun. Yeah, I guess that... Uh, Maybe the fact was also that came to me very much, and I did mention that in the last vlog, is that the younger guys were in their early to mid 30s, and the oldest one was me at 66, but we had, like I say, 30 in the 30s, in their 40s, in their 50s, and in their 60s. But we got along like a bunch of, uh, of classmates. Yeah, it was fun. I know, I'm just bantering on, but I guess, you know, that I do realize that there are certain things like that that. You, like I, I said before, you, you kind of got to go and have those times sometimes with friends. And it just kind of makes you feel alive, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, anyway, so I've been chatting already long enough. It's been six, it's coming up to seven minutes. I won't make a long vlog today. I just hope you're all well. Uh, we did not have the grandkids over this weekend, so I sent pictures. They sent me pictures. We miss each other when we're not together. But uh, yeah, you know, it's good every now and then to have also your, your space, I guess. And my second son and his partner are coming over uh, in probably about an hour or two, uh, you know, just to, to say hello. And so we'll be seeing them in a bit. So yeah, it's a good weekend finally, overall. So I hope you're all doing well. BC signing off. Take care, everybody. And uh, yeah, have a, have a great Sunday. Bye-bye.